I'm going to tell you a story today. And this story is about love. This story is about passion. <laughs> this story is about death. That's awful. Hello and welcome to the Matt Scons. I am Matt Scons, and this is my very patient wife, Heather Scons. Hello. You're so patient. I am very patient. Yeah. <laughs> I um, have to be. She does. She lives with, with me. So I'm going to tell you a story today, and this story is about love. This story is about passion. <laughs> this story is about death. That's awful. It kind of almost is. Well, so I'm going to tell this story. Okay. I'm telling the story. I might interject <laughs> a little bit because I was there too. You never interrupt. Never. And you never talk a lot. Never. No. Never. So. Or dramatic or talkative. Definitely all. not dramatic. Mm -mm. Nope. But you know what I learned early in life? I learned that I could either be right in life or I could be happy. And you know what? You're really I, happy, aren't I'm you? I'm really happy. I choose to be happy in life. All you guys watching, just remember, you too could be right or happy. He's happy because I'm always right. That's so true. <laughs> See how happy I am now? So anyway, I'm going to take you back a ways, about 16 years-ish, mm -hmm. back in the day, before I had proposed to this one right here. I bought the ring. And I decided, since I was so excited, to show everybody at college at Point Loma because it was so beautiful and awesome. I never thought, wow, I bet one of the hundreds of people that I may show and tell about proposing may tell Heather. The nice thing is none of them did, but they could have. Mistake number one. <laughs> Two, started out as a brilliant idea, in my opinion. <laughs> Very humble idea, too. Oh, yeah. um, I started the day out to propose on Valentine's Day. And I thought, I'm going to propose on Valentine's Day because I'm going to hide the fact that I'm going to propose because yeah. it's Valentine's and it's Day. so romantic. So romantic. That's me. I Matt love it. Matt Romantic Sconce. The Matt Romantic Sconce. Ooh. I'll, I'll crochet that on a pillow for you. I'll sleep on that pillow. Yeah. <laughs> so I gave her flowers in the morning. Everything was gearing up to a beautiful sunset proposal on the cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean. I have to interject. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect nothing less. Okay. No, so I had said, uh, let's dress up during the day. And then, um, so we could be dressed up all during the day, going to our classes and everything for Valentine's Day. And then let's get in our jammies and just go out to eat somewhere at night because that's just how we were. And, and that, would have, fun. that would have ruined my plan. Yeah. So what happened? So no, we dressed up during the day. And then we were going to get in our jammies and go out to eat. You want to interject anything else? No, that was it. So that's because it'll come into play later <laughs> that will. I was dressed up. So she was dressed up very nicely, mm -hmm. and I was very excited. If any of you have ever proposed to somebody, you know your stomach is basically dying inside you. Your heart's beating at like three times as fast. You think she'll say yes, but what if she didn't? What if you're like, will you marry me? And she's like, no! And then your heart's like... Well, well, if you had asked me like that, I might have said no. <laughs> what? Will you marry? You, maybe you would have been like, yes, I will. I don't know. That's kind of like you. Now, if any of you have proposed and been rejected, I am so sorry. I did not mean to offend you. And you get back on that horse. Yes. yes. There's someone out there and that person was not the right person. For That's you. right. They need to value yeah. you for you. Yes. Yes. So anyway, I decided that it would be a, a wonderful idea to walk down to the cliffs. Now, at Point Loma, you have access to these cliffs that overlook the beautiful Pacific Ocean. Oh, that's so pretty. First plan was it would be a beautiful sunset proposal. And then the clouds rolled in and it was overcast. No sunset alive. Do sunsets live? No sunset available? <laughs> so I don't know. There was no sunset. Thank you. You're welcome. See, she's right again. So <laughs> we walked down this dirt, like eroding hill and I forgot that she had been dressed up and she was wearing heels. Yes, I was. So the entire time down this hill, she was whining. I don't say griping, like it was a whine. No, I was complaining a lot. Why do we have to walk down this hill? <laughs> oh, no, why am I in heels? What are we doing? I'm going to fall down. I think I said, next time, can we please change before we do this? She did actually. She was like, I'm like, next time we will. She's trying to be romantic. <laughs> you didn't say it like that. No, I was like, don't worry. You'll be okay. Hold on to my arm. Inside, I was like, next time we will. <laughs> anyway, 
So we got, we got down the hill and we walked out on the cliffs to the beautiful cloudy sky. It and was beautiful. It was beautiful. The ocean. Yeah. I love the ocean. It was gorgeous, but there was no sunset. But it was way down onto the rocks and the water. And there were surfers down there and they were surfing. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. And I had this plan. I had written a poem. Of course, I'm a crier. I've explained this in other videos. Probably the link up here will, will show you that video. Um, I, I feel... I that he's a crier. You love it? I do. I love it. Don't make me cry. Oh, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> um, I will later. Um, but anyway, I'm a crier. And so I had written this poem. And the end of it said... Your eyes reflect the sea. My heart is yours forever. And then I was going to kneel down and say, will you marry me? Now, it's really windy. Mm -hmm. It's really windy on the cliffs over the ocean. And I had planned for this. I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to tape a quarter onto the back of this paper. A magician's trick, if you will. I'm going to cover it with my hand. But when I drop the paper, like I by accident drop it and it falls down, that gives me a reason to kneel down. So that was my plan. I was going to drop the paper and then I was going to kneel down. And so that all went swimmingly. I had oh, the ring. You also had um, Martinelli's. I did. Express. I had Martinelli's and mugs that like fit together, like this beautiful, like little heart, like they go together. That's very cute. And I was like, I'm rocking the romance. Yes. Rocking the romance. Now, I read the poem and I looked into her eyes and I could tell she was going to say yes. Either that or she was the best actor ever. And she is a great actress. <laughs> But I was hoping that it was the first, and I was sure it was. And so I read the poem, and I said, your eyes reflect the sea. My heart is yours forever. And then I dropped the paper. I was like, oh, no. And she was like, oh. And what were you thinking inside? In my head, I was like, way to kill the mood, Matt. <laughs> way to kill the mood. So it just shows you her. <laughs> but I kept smiling. It shows you her opinion of me. Like, she actually thought I would destroy the mood like that. Like, I would read a poem and be like, no. <laughs> I dropped it right at the, like the last moment, but she believed it, it could be. Mm -hmm. And so I said, my heart is yours forever. And I dropped it. And she was like, oh, but she was so nice about it. Yeah. She was just like, oh, okay. And I got down and I looked up with my sparkling, like puss in boots eyes, you know, like, oh, bing, yes. bing, bing. and I was, see, there, there. there bing, they are. Bing, yes. <laughs> and so I got down there and I, I took the ring out and I said, will you marry me? And her eyes filled up with tears. Yes. Because if Matt says he's a crier, but he's an amateur compared to me. That's I true. am a professional crier. If there was a job for crying, I could be the president of the company. Yeah, like people are investing in Bitcoin right now, but if you yeah. could invest in like Heather's tears. Oh my goodness, you'd make millions. Yeah. Let's try that. We'll, yeah. we'll figure out a way. <laughs> um, hydrate like. Anybody. We'll just I bottle know. them. Very natural. The original tears. <laughs> the original yeah. So tears. they're they're great. So we could bottle your tears. But anyway, okay. so I get down there and I look up. Her eyes fill up with tears. I know that she's going to say yes. I have the ring. <clears throat> now here's some things that went through my mind in that moment. I realize when I dropped the paper, it dropped a little bit like to the left. So I had turned my back a little bit towards the ocean. Then I realized I was at the edge of the cliff overlooking the long drop down to the rocks below <laughs> and the surfers below that were little specks. And then I saw her eyes and I saw the excitement in her eyes and I saw the yes, like forming on her mouth. <laughs> and I realized I was still crouched and I saw her start to run towards me. Well, it wasn't really running. We were very close there to There she goes like this. Still. Now maybe she wasn't like a mile away from me, but it was like one step, but it was like this in my mind. <laughs> and she was like, yes, but like cuter than that. And she was like, yeah. and then she jumped at me. <laughs> now remember, I'm on the edge of the cliff. I'm on the edge of the cliff and I haven't stood up yet. And she's flying <laughs> at me. And I realized, made me so happy. I was so happy that you were happy, <laughs> but I realized that we were going to die. <laughs> like I realized that we were going to make the news. I, man proposes to woman. She tackles him off cliff. <laughs> Shortest they, engagement. They die on rocks. Her. They wouldn't even know if she said yes. They might have thought she was like, hated me. Oh, right? No. Will you marry me? <laughs> no. Right? That's what it was like. But she, she leapt at me. And I stood up. I was like, no, we will not die here. <laughs> and I stood up. And I caught her. And we teetered and did not fall off the cliff. Mm -hmm. But I thought to myself, if we had... Could you imagine the surfers? They're like, 
Oh, look. Oh, oh my gosh. Right? We're like, Eep. <laughs> oh no. But we didn't. We could have traumatized some poor, innocent surfers and some sea life. It's all your fault. Because I'm so good at proposing. Yeah. So I proposed. She jumped at me. She wrapped her arms around me. She forgot about the ring. Oh, totally and she was just crying and saying yes. And my heart soared. I was like, hey, <laughs> I'm going to have a wife. And the cool thing is she's the best wife. Like, if you, oh. I'm sure a lot of you probably have great wives. I'm not knocking your wives. <laughs> I'm saying mine's better than them. <laughs> now, I'm saying that because she is the most patient, most wonderful, most loving best mother, Aww. like best singer, best actress, amazing person in the history of the world. And so she said yes to me. You're not gonna make me cry. And she said yes to me, this strange, fuzzy, tall, <laughs> gangly dude. And she said yes to me and made me the happiest man that has ever existed and will ever exist. So you did. Oh, thank you. So the whole way up the hill, Oh, Remember yeah. the hill she came down and complained? Yeah. I eventually remember, uh, remembered that I got a ring. She got a ring. She remembered. The whole yeah. way up the hill, she <laughs> had it in front of her. She, she had it like this. Yes. So she like had this. it in front of her and she was just following. And I just followed my ring up the hill. I don't remember the walk of her back up the hill. Yeah. I just followed my ring. Yeah, she like floated. <laughs> it was like if you could, like you see her just levitate like, and she's like, just <laughs> followed it up the hill. Yeah, so I knew I had done well with the ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're crying Oh, a yeah, bit. you made me cry. Very sweet. It's because you're so wonderful. You're okay, too. <laughs> so that is the story of how I proposed to this one. Yeah. She almost killed us. Yep. And then she said yes. <laughs> we lived and went on to our very amazing life. We have a great life. We've been married almost 15 years. In May, it'll be 15 years. Mm -hmm. So that means 15 years of her putting up with this one. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to introduce you, if you haven't already met, my amazing patient wife, Heather. It's me. She's amazing. If you don't know, <laughs> now you do. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos about mm. my life, about Heather, about the kids, about unboxing things, about cool, nerdy, geeky things, about everything. If you wonder what the channel's about, just click this link. You'll see it. It'll pop up and you'll be able to see what the channel's all about. If you have any other ideas for any videos that you'd like Matt Scons to make, just put them in the comment section yeah. down below. Exactly. And remember, it's The Matt Scons. Oh, I'm so sorry. If you'd like to put anything in the comments for it, The Matt Scons. Awesome. Put them in the comment section down below. <laughs> thanks for loving me. <laughs> of course. I'll give you some love. Oh, thank you. Love you, baby. I love you too. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.